All right, here we go. We have a 3v3 custom match on Nestthorn between the green team in the upper left hand corner. It is Festive Present 3, Boomhauer in the Steampunk Bomber, Weiwei in the Deep Sea Osprey, and Valinor in the brand new Steampunk Neo. And in the bottom right hand corner, the blue team, their opponents, the uh, old school Grizzly Wing members, Fed comp in the steam ah, steampunk. That is the frontline warthog. M knob in the medic osprey and good day in the Apache Helix. I am starting. I'm doing my best to say Helix nowadays, but we do have a uh, pretty much very very powerful standard loadouts from both teams, and we do have a lot of rebels coming up for green team. Uh, but blue team doesn't have. Uh, they have tanks actually queued up to go. Uh, green team grabs this immediately. And uh, those boomers are not, it are, well, creepers are not able to grab, uh, to explode on this uh, outpost to be able to take out bulbs. And immediately we do see Valinor going rebels at this bottom corner here. And it does force, uh, it should force, okay, at least one good day to come down here to take care of it. Um, but actually Valinor not giving up here on the pressure, uh, continually bringing more rebels and going to reposition this other one. I do think they are going to be able to eventually neutralize this with, uh, oh, actually no, uh, they are one bulb short of a neutralize. Oh, they does go down to the that last jackal uh, rebel does uh, take out those last that last bulb although will be retaken by green team or by blue team very quickly uh, it does allow uh, green team to really secure uh, to really secure the um, the mid here and uh, this uh, <laughs> this does go back that this oh whoa the whoa whoa what's happening this does go back to blue Valnor again dropping probes <laughs> I don't know why he did that I guess just in hopes that it was still neutral or something like that or uh, you know just not reclaim Boomhauer getting taken down by Emnob after doing that backflip. Uh, but now we do see, no, I could have sworn Valinor was going to do it again uh, with dropping more rebels, but we do see that this bottom outpost is fairly secured now uh, because of all that attack going down. Um, and, and now we do have a normal uh, fight on Nestor 4 mid. This really is pretty much what happens every single time, especially in a 3v3. But now we will see how the extremely high-level players do handle this. Mnob coming back from a really long hiatus. Um, and uh, from what I've seen, honestly, has not really taken, uh, has not really lost any of his, uh, any of his uh, skill. Um, maybe a little bit of his, uh, his, uh, his uh, muscle memory or, or whatnot. But we do see Valinor again coming uh, with uh, more boomers and will obviously be saved by Fedcom uh, already here. In this area, um, and so he was able to grab that. But now Valnor pushing up with his uh, with his Dillo. I'm not really sure what he's trying to accomplish. It's not really good, he, but he does save it. So he just just try to do just try to put a little bit of damage, like whatever he can, um, on on those uh, units on the right side. And now we see a lot of artillery on uh, on the on each team. Actually, a little bit more for green team uh, as they do have the less advantageous position at this mid. Uh, now that this outpost has been moved back, uh, it is really difficult for uh, for uh, these artillery to reach the uh, right outpost. But with this movement here, or you know, just stationing these artillery over here, they are going to be able to attack that outpost eventually once the uh, units might you know eventually be cleared. Uh, at that point. Uh, they will be able to neutralize it if, uh, if 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 blue is able to get a really good spread of artillery, uh, which is usually the our advantage of being the non mid controlling uh, team on Nestorn. I mean, do see Boomhauer doing a little bit of bombing, actually killing that over there. Uh, and uh, Valinor coming down here. Uh, there, I don't, I don't see anything that was dropped and killed. He does get finished, so I guess he was just trying to do a quick distraction uh, using his own fire there. And we do see Vedcom cleaning up the units on the bottom arm of this uh, this path to mid on Nestorn, um, and does not get. Oh, does have the Viking dance down, but there was a tank. There was a Gemini sitting right here, and that it does it does force him to lift off and get killed by Weiwei and Mnob finishing off Weiwei, getting that revenge on his teammate. Uh, but we do see uh, the uh, blue has a fairly good spread of units uh, of our uh, and a lot as many artillery as I would hope to, for a blue team to have. And we do see another one going down for M. Uh, Boomhauer does see it, but does not uh, does not start to drop bombs on it yet. And there are a couple of units that were killed over here for for uh, for a. Uh, uh, the, the green units that were killed by blue, uh, a lot of the artillery have been uh, have been very effective, and we just do see a quick heal and good day firing in with the rockets, but not able to kill anything. Does run out of energy and has to go back to his outpost. And Fed almost getting killed. Does Viking dance down instead? M knob goes down, and Fed does get back up to his outpost. Uh, and, and I would assume that that uh, would kind of be very detrimental, especially losing that Osprey for that short amount of time. Um, and Valinor getting killed by I think that was probably a hat in the area. Um, I doubt he was caught by a seeker. Uh, but uh, and boom. 
Doomhauer also getting killed as well. And Wei Wei, the only one here, fed not getting help for from his teammates to get the focus. And now we do have a complete wipe uh, by blue team on green. And now we will see a slight uh, uh, advancing of units with that uh, with that a little bit of extra time that they will be able to get with all of the, all the green team that are going to be gone here. Um, and now all three members back. Uh, those those this, these tanks that were dropped have not really been able to get anywhere. We do see Mnop going down to Valinor, um, and right now Green, yeah, th th those those uh, units for, that were dropped on by Blue on Green's side, uh, they really weren't doing that much to be honest. And uh, at this point, I, I do expect Green to start uh, advancing just like they are doing right now. They are putting a lot of Dillos on this side. Uh, they the uh, uh, Festive Present Present Three very very infamous for having extremely good teamwork, uh, especially when it comes to that those that leapfrogging the fairing of the units and Mnob does take down Valinor and uh, way way very long life does get is gonna get wow focused by three green blue team members and again all three green uh, green players are dead uh, two going down to mechs themselves and now they will be able to clean up the rest of the green units over here but now but the thing is uh, those were able to kill a lot of the blue units as you can see all the smoke and all the debris a couple were killed um, so now green team is completely back and Valinor again going with a little bit of harass down here at the bottom uh, those boomers are not really gonna kill that much uh, they do finish off one rebel, but one does get killed. Uh, I think one was get, one was killed by the the three units that were over there to defend. Um, and now I'm enough, uh, healing healing fed on the way back up there. Uh, but oh, again, Valinor doing a little bit of harassment. I think there was another boomer drop, uh, but fed dropping creepers and actually getting killed by fed um, as well. Uh, Valinor was. Uh, and at this point, the, uh, it is still pretty even. They're, they're having kills back and forth. And Weiwei, again, going to get focused over his outpost. It's so painful. Uh, but <laughs> really, really great teamwork again by Blue Team. Uh, and at this point now, I keep saying that. i got to stop saying that. But yes, the, we, we do have a lot of tanks over here uh, for uh, for uh, Green Team, or for Blue Team. So they are starting to move up. A Hat and a Seeker both go down. So we do see a lot of fairing going on. Uh, good Day uh, is where is Good Day. He is bringing infantry. So he will... They, they, they will greatly contribute to uh, trying to take that um, outpost and get neutral and Valinor going down a good day there all the way back and uh, Boomhauer and Weiwei are doing their best to do what they can to defend against this but there is not much they can do. Boomhauer obviously with the bombs there but the more and more units getting carried over by Blue uh, and Boom Valinor has, still has not respawned and so in, and good day now firing in with, this, with, with the rockets and with his own fire and Fedcom doing the same exact thing and I'm gonna oh almost went down there but uh, does retreat in time Fedcom going down but this outpost is neutralized good day also getting killed by Valinor over there and now Mnob, the only one uh, alive here uh, against three players is not going to be able to do that much against this green team especially in this mid so this does go back up to green uh, he does try to do a quick infantry drop but that does really do nothing especially since it's been retaken um, at this point there was a quick longhorn drop over here by Valinor who actually was a Gemini and he is actually taking a Dillo over to the front door and it requires uh, not necessarily requires but is uh, responded to by two oh and actually Mnob swooping in again uh, again I'm saying because of last game but once again swooping in uh, Helping Fed finish off that uh, that kill on Valinor and Boomhauer doing this dump, this double bombing that we have been seeing him do a lot, but does get killed on the way back by Mnob as well. And Fedcom is trying to do the focus fire again with, on Weiwei, and uh, now with Mnob to, to help, but not in time, uh, and almost gets down. Oh, and actually Mnob gets uh, gets Valinor there. Um, and now are they going to try to focus down Weiwei again? It's just really really useful, especially or not useful, but very very effective, especially on this mid. We do see Mnob trying to do an infantry, infantry drop over here. Will get quickly responded to by Boomhauer, especially because he is the bomber, he will be able to quickly kill them with these bombs, and I thought he was going to just drop and slash, but uh, I guess this bomb is the, uh, oh, and he does have more bombs to drop, and is trying to get Good Day there, uh, he does, Good Day was hit with the AMP, but it's going to get followed by Boomhauer, but no, does land, and uh, oh, does get finished on the ground by Boomhauer's bombs, and um, no, neither Mnob or Fedcomp were able to save him there. Oh, and actually, Good Day uh, also gets killed, or Fedcom actually gets killed as well by Weiwei. But, I mean, Weiwei did get the last hit, but that was a focus fire by all three of those green players. And Weiwei getting killed by the hat that was sitting over here. Um, and now Good Day is back to rejoin his teammates. Um, and now at this point, uh, Green, uh, actually, Green had a couple units over here. They are starting to move a little bit further, but I think they just dropped a couple over here just to have a little bit of extra uh, uh, defense or, you know, positional defense. So uh, just so that Blue won't be, wouldn't be, 
be able to encroach on their space at mid. They would have something, uh, just a small buffer, just in case. Um, and at now, uh, no more focus fire going down right at this moment, actually. Um, and we do see uh, these creeps. No, no, actually, I could have sworn the creeps were going to be, uh, or no, I thought that, that, that those were tanks or something like that, but they were creeps. And we do see Valinor now starting to put a defense up. Those, those infantry drops were a little bit scary for uh, for Green Team. And now Valinor, okay, very low on life. I thought they were just going to... Blue Team has, de has been doing a really, really good job focus firing down Green Team. And uh, now Weiwei and... Oh, okay, I thought he was going to get focus fired as well, too. Well, wow, it's just really so amazing, to be honest, to see that uh, every single time. Now we do see some Rebels going down, trying to get the neutralized, but it's not really going to do that much. We do see Valinor with Rebels of his own going to try to get the neutralized down here. And there are no uh, ground attacking units that... Or that are, there are two, actually, these two Dillos, but... Uh, and the Rebels are actually prioritizing the Seeker. The Seeker facing back first toward the uh, toward that um, toward those attacking units but oh and now Valinor again going with the Gemini uh, at the front door it, we are in halftime so he is able to uh, you know use this uh, Gemini drop to be able to stop those uh, boosted credits uh, and now Fedcom forced to recharge uh, get that energy and Valinor again doing this just the more Gemini's he drops he really should drop it on the side uh, at this point it's more for taking out uh, for, for stopping this halftime credit boost uh, rather than uh, Rather than uh, get trying to get damage on the on Blue's fort, because, and so at right, real, right now the side would have been a little bit better for that purpose. Although uh, front door is a little bit better, but I don't think it was hitting at that point. Now Fedcom dropping another uh, uh, Dillo for that uh, defense, but Mnob trying to sneak by with Longhorn is not able to do it with Boomhauer get catching him there in the act. Um, but now we do have both teams, uh, 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 oh, it is past the actual initial minute where, where we have that heal. So there was a really great denial by Valinor uh, to, to uh, stop uh, Blue uh, to get those extra credits. And as we do see, we, we have Valinor and Boomhauer with a lot of uh, extra credits, uh, 20 and 30,000 respectively. Um, and that, and, and on the on the blue side, it's obviously not as much, not even close. Uh, it's so that that they were able to deny them very well with that with those four drops from Valinor. And now Fedcom creating a small wall here with uh with Dillos uh, facing back toward the uh, the outside. It's very interesting. I would have expected uh, not that actually. And we do have a quick infantry drop over here. Uh, there is nothing actually to defend in this outpost, which is typically expected uh, from the uh, the area that is being uh, ferried from on the uh, on the defending team. Uh, that does not have mid and now Fedcom just doing a quick flyby I'm not sure what he's trying to get at he's just doing a quick scout I guess so he is trying to figure out where they can maybe do a, a ninja or whatnot. does level up so he does not have to he did not really actually have to Viking dance down there uh, now firing in uh, with that really nice cool looking uh, magenta those magenta tracers oh he actually had the red and good day has the magenta so you really can actually see that um, and now uh, we do have um, a little bit of a lull in the action, actually. Uh, we, we are, we, we, there is a, an incredible spread of Berthas over here uh, on this side with tanks to defend every single one of them. Um, this one actually just lost its tank, was picked up, I guess, to heal, and will probably go back down sometime soon. Um, no, but uh, now Fed, oh, Fed and um, Mnob were able to focus down Valinor there, uh, but Mnob and Fedcom getting killed both by Weiwei, the Osprey getting that double kill. Um, and now, good day. The only one left on his team, but with that chopper, he is able to do a lot of great micro uh, on his own. Uh, but uh, you know, suffice to say uh, that 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 the two blue members being gone did give Green an opening to drop over here. And we do see good day with two longhorns not being caught by any of the green team yet, not being responded to at all. But it is on their mini map for sure. But good day will be able to get pretty far. Actually, get to the front door before he dies. And Valinor is forced to do a, bo a body block and defend this. And Boomhauer is going to be here as well. It's a slash away with him. Uh, and and Weiwei, the Osprey, holding the fort here at mid. Look at all the Berthas. There are there are six Berthas. Wow, that's a lot of Berthas and a bunch of Goliaths as well to absorb a lot of damage. And so these Berthas are just going to wreak, uh, wreak havoc on the area over here, which is also populated by Berthas. And we do see Boomhauer. Oh, this outpost was neutralized by a bunch of uh, green uh, rebel drops. Uh, and Boomhauer keeping it neutral, uh, not, not letting Blue relight those bulbs uh, with those slashes, but does get finished by Good Day on the ground. And Valinor with more, uh, with more neutralizing units here those rebels uh, continually over there and they are very very cheap um uh, and they are actually able to drop enough probes to take this. Fed on Good Day are probably going to be able to re-neutralize it. No, Valinor have dropped a lot of probes, and more and more go down, so they are able to grab this outpost. Uh, so now this probably will be able to be uh, completely held by Green, uh, and Weiwei still hanging out in mid, 
uh, taking uh, taking a couple units to, to bring over and defend, and Blue really, really needs to prioritize neutralizing this Albos, and it does go down to neutral. I do not see any. There is only two bulbs up for, for Green, and uh, Weiwei getting followed there by uh, by Fedcom, uh, getting killed by Mnob, actually getting that final that final hit, and now we do have a complete wipe on uh, on Green Team by Blue. Uh, I, they really need to... Uh, oh, and Fed is going to go with Mnob to try to get the neutralize on this close outpost. They are completely ignoring the one that they lost, and Good Day is also also here to support, and they will be able to get this neutralized if, if, uh, if, uh, oh, actually, wait, wait, with that great, uh, probe spam, uh, to be able to get this defensive, uh, do this, this, these defensive infant, but look at all these rebels over here, they are so fast at neutralizing, it does get neutralized, and a lot of infantry going down, uh, only one bulb up for green, and actually more creeps are going in, uh, most of the blue units have been cleaned up, and Fedcom is the only one left alive over here, and does get killed, we do have another white, but this time it is on blue team by green, and now blue not being able to retake this yet, uh, you know, took a, took a risk, but really a risk that they needed to take. Instead of trying to retake this, they did go for that upper outpost, um, but now they, uh, you know, obviously a losing risk that they, that they obviously, I mean, I would say that they were pretty much forced to take that. They really, really had to take advantage of that wipe on green, uh, and uh, is, uh, they are actually able to re-neutralize uh, re this outpost. Uh, Boomhauer finishing off those tanks over there, and Fedcom almost lo does get killed by Boomhauer on the way out, um, and Emnov flying around, getting heavily under fire, but uh, Boomhauer actually goes down trying to finish some new, uh, new, uh, units on the ground there. Um not that many uh, units left here for green uh, at this point. It is just one Goliath and two, uh, or one Dillo. I think that was Dillo. It is dead now, or at least it was evacuated. Uh, but at this point, Valinor is the only one over here for green team. Wait, wait, does come by, but Valinor, uh, this, this, this is very, very uh, much now under uh, blue control. Mnob spamming probes, keeping this in in blue's control, and Valinor very, very low on life. Gonna get finished by that air to ground um, of Fedcom. But the thing is now, blue's units on this side have been very, very thinned out by green, especially because of those Berthas have been look at these Berthas just firing in over here, finishing off every single thing that Blue has over here. Uh, now Good Day over here to, to respond, but I don't know how how uh, he'll be able to defend against this. Uh, he is pretty much the only one to end up actually finished Boomhauer. That was a little off pan. Sorry about that, but uh, he was able to finish it off. Uh, selling off the probes. Every single credit counts here, guys. Uh, but one, one, oh, two Geminis over here. I guess they are trying to prioritize and neutralize with these Geminis. Um, and Valinor uh, dropping one over here, uh, but it will be blocked by this Longhorn. And uh, but you know the divided attention. Valinor trying to get it neutralized over here, back facing this rebel. So a little bit, uh, a little bit. I uh, you know it probably should have been dropped over here or something like that. But uh, now uh, defending Longhorn does go down. Um, and uh, well, we are back to square one. Oh, and Valinor once again back to square one, doing the same kind of harass. Uh, effective nonetheless, trying to do a little bit of. Um, of uh, socket unit kills, but obviously was responded to very, very quickly, so uh, was thwarted also very, very quickly. Uh, all, but they do not see this yet. Good Day does grab that generator before Valinor is uh, able to get that kill, and uh, he stays there, though, with that ground cloak, super efficient, is staying here, and now Good Day did pretty much left for no reason, but now Valinor, uncontested, was, is able to get that generator kill, um, and at this point, he is gonna just, oh, gonna get hit by Fedcom's the ground there, but with that cloak, oh, uh, forced to go away, oh, and very low on life, does get finished off by those, uh, uh, I think there was a hat sitting here. I'm not really exactly sure. And look at this awesome sideways uh, a sideways generator there. Uh, but now, oh, Fedcom getting killed. I think that was a Goliath in his lo in his queue. Ooh, he was moving really, really slow. And I'm pretty sure that was either one Goliath or uh, like a Longhorn and a uh, Rebel or something like that. But to move that slow, I'm pretty sure it had to have been a Goliath. Uh, and at this point, Green has had a look at all the, the progression they've made. They've, they've been able to ferry a lot of units over here, so they are focusing the attack on this outpost. There are a lot of Berthas uh, pointing over here, so it's it looks like it is kind of uh, hopeless for Blue to keep this with all those Berthas already positioned over there. Um, and now uh, they are trying to finish off Boomhauer, but Boomhauer gets that neutralized before he gets killed. And Valinor dogfighting with the m in that Osprey in the air, uh, forced to run away because there is Fed uh, in that support there. Uh, but he Fed does finish off that Gemini, and Weiwei coming over here with probes. Probably not going to get this because there are a lot of there, those, the defensive jackals over there, or not jackals, rebels. Uh, two lights going up for blue, but Weiwei with a lot more probes, just probes, probes, probes. And the same exact thing for Valinor, and if you do look, uh, they uh, the Boomhauer is the only one without probes in his loadout. 
out uh, for green team because just because uh, Valnor obviously that quick Neo to, to use that probe spam and uh, Weiwei the uh, the uh, one with a great carry capacity pretty much the exact same speed with those probes in his cargo and they do blue does retake this uh, with all those level four creeps being dropped over here and Fedcom trying to follow down someone and uh, good day finishing off Valnor there and Mnob doing a little bit of front door harass and actually he's already been able to take a lot of wow <laughs> I, I did not see that but uh, he was able to almost get oh he does get that uh, self destruct wow M knob my my hero actually um, gets that self destruct versus two green members uh, does get, does finish himself off and uh, denying that experience uh, and now we are I mean we are back to where we started with green holding mid blue holding the other two outposts on their side um, and no one actually uh, has a boom hour just continually trying to do a little bit of harass and does get this neutralized but uh, only one bulb goes up will go quickly back down with all the surrounding blue units uh, and does get oh way way almost trying to trying to body block for boom but misses there uh, not misses but uh, yeah but boom does does get killed and way way almost getting killed himself Valinor be able to finish off fed in that exchange uh, and now uh, going with boomers and gonna get uh, try to get that Goliath but trying to attack the Goliath boomers I don't think I don't even think four boomers I don't even think six boomers can kill I, I'm not doing this math properly okay 4,000 <laughs> 4,000 HP no it's not 4,000 HP for, for, for Goliath anymore that's the old HP uh, I'm not gonna try to do math right now on this live cast so I will try to do it later uh, but at this point there is still a lot of bit of uh, a lot there is still a lot of uh, harass going down on this factory and green is definitely gonna be able to take this all, with all those level 4 uh, creeps up over there um, and now Boomhauer trying to drop as many defensive uh, uh, Dillos as he can with no infantry oh with actually only soldiers in his loadout out, uh, but does not neutralize it or does not keep it from getting neutral uh, and fed come getting away before he gets killed that was super quick uh, but right now uh, there are no uh, probes getting dropped by Weiwei or Valinor and good day going uh, killing Boomhauer there uh, now fed come finishing off these dillos gonna melt to this uh, to this uh, warthog uh, and actually a lot of uh, infantry going down so green will probably no does not retake it there is not enough that goes in fed come finishing off Valinor uh, and good day dropping uh, creeps of his own Weiwei trying to do it with probes as well but uh, I do not think they will be able to take this uh way way trying to drop more probes but this is gonna be oh he is gonna be able to take this oh no fed firing at those probes with that, that warthog pretty much like a lightsaber through those probes um and just killing them immediately and but boom howard getting a double kill uh and uh now i'm not the only one left on his team uh there is no oh he really really needs to, to uh defend that bottom outpost uh as of now there is no one going there but now valinor with creeps and boom howard as well with with uh with a dillo uh i'm not the only one still here uh but fedcom does respawn and he is here to help him uh, help him spend, but Boomhauer chasing down Mnob, uh, almost get his, gets him with those bombs, and he is trying to finish him off with it, with those bombs, but not able to stay in that area, so Mnob does get away there, and Good Day getting killed by Boomhauer, and Boomhauer getting another kill on Mnob, getting a double kill again, and now Fedcom doing the same exact thing on Green Team, killing Boomhauer and Valinor. Uh, this is uh, this is just really, really insanely fast. I, I, I And right now, Weiwei was able to take this. It is a 1v1 at this point in this area, and Mnob finally respawning to to uh to uh, uh to help and uh good day also here and so this will eventually be neutralized once more um and back up to blue and this last gem or uh, this last dilla will be taken care of by that uh by that longhorn drop and uh now obviously blue our green team trying to shift their focus to this to this uh to this uh power station um and uh, it's not really going to work just because there's a lot of defense already up for green, so they are for blue, so they have to, uh, you know, work hard and kind of grind it out to be able to clear the units over there. Uh, Valinor doing another quick uh, scout, and I think he did drop more boomers, uh, but right now, uh, Good Day firing in, killing, actually, already killed, I think that was a patcher, uh, but uh, but those Goliaths are going to take a lot more time to, with this, even with those rockets. Uh, it will take uh, a lot of, uh, usually, I mean, I, I usually see Goliaths getting killed by artillery, mostly uh, just because it's real I mean without obviously without an Osprey on the team uh, is more likely to happen um, but right now uh, good day uh, is once again trying to finish off what he can with his rockets you know every second you don't have credits to spend every second you don't have someone to dogfight especially if you're a chopper or whatever unit or whatever mech you are uh, you need to just do as much damage as you can. Every little bit does help. Fedcom getting healed up by Amnob there, so does not need to uh, lift off to be able to uh, to uh, to be able to um, 
to, uh, to keep firing there. Uh, he was able to do that continuously, and we do have a, a front door drop by Boomhauer, and Good Day does not have, he only has one Longhorn to defend, but he does grab that other Dillo to get another block, and Boomhauer does go down. We do have a Rebel push over here from Green Team and Fedcomp over here trying to finish off what he can, and Mnob, Good Day, and Fedcomp are all, all here already, and, and Valor moving everything around, microing as much as possible, getting as much damage as he can on in, but the Green Team is still behind in terms of life, and I don't know if this hits overtime too, will they be able to, uh, uh, will they be able to, uh, outbleed, or underbleed, I, that's, that's a really weird term I've never thought of before, but I don't think, in terms of how much life they don't have, I, I think they are going to be on the losing end of the bleed out, um, maybe, maybe slightly, it probably is borderline, just looking at the, at the life bars right now, and a lot of action going down once again on mid, uh, Blue has been able to, actually, this has not, uh, been cleaned up yet, there are still two Dillos firing in here, Blue really, really needs to respond, and, uh, Good Day does come back, and force the body block with nothing, with nothing in his, uh, build queue, uh, it, it will be able to know, uh, lifts off a little bit too early, um, and now, uh, he does finally finish it off, but now I think Green is definitely ahead, uh, Blue almost at half, uh, Green at about two-thirds, uh, and Mnob saving that uh, that Goliath that was dropped over there, but a lot of blue units that were dropped over here have been killed. Uh, right now, we do have a, lo a lot of harass going down by Valinor and Boomhauer. Valinor uh, almost finishing off. Oh, actually, finished off some some stuff over there in that in that little crevice. Um, and now Boomhauer with those creep with these with these creeps um, uh, not not being uh, cleaned up yet, not quite yet, but uh, now finally getting killed by those Dillos. Um, and now uh, we do see uh, the exact same thing happening over and over and over again. But both of these teams are so evenly matched that uh, it, you know no one's getting a distinct swing in the uh, in, in the uh, in the map control. No one's actually able to really take uh, take another outpost, um, even though Green pretty much almost had that bottom factory. Uh, Blue's been able to just retake it over and over and over again because they each of these players know exactly how to respond. Uh, look at everything that's going down. They do with creeps again retake this and Good Day with those bunkers uh, is going to be able to hold that for a little bit longer than uh, you know you normally would uh, without those with just defensive units. And Fedcomp doesn't even fully heal before he drops these probes. He wasn't even able to neutralize it, but he still yet brings probes. Uh, and, and at this point. Uh, we, I mean, I, I don't want to say it over and over and over again, but it's pretty much the same thing over and over. Oh, Good Day does get that drop on that Longhorn, does, is able to drop it before he gets killed. Though all three Green Team members were uh, were uh, following him down there. Oh, and at some point, Fedcom did get killed as well. So once again, Ebnob, the only one on his team alive. Uh, and now we obviously, with that wipe, we do have Valinor doing a little, as much harass as he can. Will do the slingshot to lift off, and Ebnob does time that fairly well. But Valinor kind of fakes getting away there. Uh, uh, but does not uh, does not uh, you know use that really to the full extent of uh, that you know that that maneuver just because <laughs> Mnob and uh, I think Fedcomp was also uh, respawning at that time you know just able to respond exactly how they need to respond all these players know exactly what to do uh, in specific certain situations exactly how to respond but uh, the problem is actually the execution which is, is separating these two teams which is why the extreme coordination of Festive Present Three is allowing them to keep the pressure on the blue side although not for a hundred percent of the match obviously but it's really incredible to me that uh, that look at look at this they've been able to neutralize it. Even though it's going to go up to green, again, just because of all those creeps going in, they've been able to, able to neutralize it with all the pressure going down on their side already. They've been able to neutralize I'm going to say it again just because it's so freaking amazing to me. Um, and once again, look at all these high-level creeps. Uh, overtime 2, it has we have been deep in Overtime 2 for a very long time, and Valinor just continually doing these drops. Once again, the extreme advantage of having Neo, uh, especially in this Overtime 2 heavy patch build state of game, what have you, um, those cloaked or even just quick uh, uh, unit drops at uh, whatever whatever uh, at enemy's uh, fort, uh, you, they just are really, really uh, useful and effective just to get every little bit of damage off as you possibly can. Valinor again with the Gemini drop uh, is not able to create a hold this time, so Fedcom is able to clean that up, yes. Uh, but Val but Boomhauer once again neutralizing this outpost, which will you know continually make Blue bleed way, 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 way faster. Um, than, uh, 
than uh, than green team is at this point. And now uh, the bleed out is just too severe. I do not think blue is like Fed Comp is not going to be able to these, these Dillo drops. And once again, caught by Valinor, uh, these Dillo drops are not really going to be able to do it. Uh, and he does not uh, really have that much uh, health left to survive. And once uh, once a uh, green team just sees them, he, they are able to. And now we do have good day uh, with two. Oh, not able to drop any of them. Really needed to make that hole. So even turning and burning at that point would have pretty much been uh, for uh, for no reason. And and Mnob also getting killed as well. And this is blocked. This Longhorn is blocking the Zillow. And now we will have uh, a land here by Valinor behind the the enemy line. And green team. Best of present three from the archetype. Uh, faction do take this victory over FedComp, Good Day, and uh, M Knob. Uh, wow! Uh, once again, looking at the uh, looking at the uh, scores, uh, pretty dang even. I, 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 you know what? I'm this. Th that's the last time I'm gonna see this. Say the scores are even. Just because any amazing game, that's gonna happen. Just because any amazing game, the teams are gonna be pretty evenly matched throughout the entire thing. Um, and right now we do see that uh, Weiwei went even and didn't kill any units using, you know, the, the the epitome of Osprey play. Didn't kill any units himself. So just healed up as much as he possibly could, losing 273 actually. But going even, uh, and Boomhauer going extremely negative. Negative uh, 17 by my subtraction skills there. And, uh, you know, no one actually going positive here. The closest one was um, I think that stupid mini map. Where are you blocking? I think this was good day. Yes, the chopper was good day. Going just negative one, um, but you know that was uh, just in usually. You know, I would have expected that time just because Festa Present Three was controlling all of the uh, of of the uh, of the uh, of the match by putting pressure on Blue the entire time. I would have expected yes, it would just would have been a fight on Blue side exclusively. But the way that Blue was able to respond, especially taking advantage, um, although not successful, uh, very very um, uh, it, it was it was still very effective. Uh, you know, uh, use of that uh, kill. Or that that wipe that that one um, that 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 one wipe that one specific one that they were able to get on um, on green team, and almost took that close outpost. Uh, it was just amazing that they were able to even neutralize that that mid at the end. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna breathe. Um, I I hope you enjoyed this. Probably one of the highest level three videos I've ever seen on Air Mac ever. This is RUI, and that is game. See you next time.